So in this video, we're going to be learning how to install Laravel and how to set up a really simple project. Because what I noticed is there can be a few things that get in the way the first time you set up your Laravel project. So we're going to learn how to install Laravel and we're going to learn how to set up a project in this video. So the first thing we have to do is install Composer. And the reason we need this is because Laravel has lots of PHP libraries that it depends on. And we need to include those with our project to be able to use Laravel. And what Composer does is it makes it really easy for us just to download all them automatically whenever we set up a project. So you want to go to the installation section and for Windows all you have to do is download the Composer Setup EXE file. For Mac and Linux you want to download this installer. It's just a PHP file. And then what you want to do is just run PHP installer. So if the installer is in a file called installer you just want to say PHP installer. So what you want to do is download this file. You can see the file is called installer. And once you download that and you run that installer file, it's just a PHP script. But once you install that, you'll have a file called composer.phar. And what you want to do is just run this command to install it globally on your computer. So if I was to type in the word composer, you can see now I have composer installed on my computer. So what we want to do once we've installed composer is we want to install Laravel. So to install Laravel, it's really simple. All we have to do is run composer global require and we say Laravel installer, and that will install Laravel for us. And then we just have to update our path variable so that we can use the Laravel keyword. So after we've updated our path variable, we'll be able to use the keyword Laravel, and this allows us to create a new project. So I'm gonna create a new project. So I'm just gonna call it Hello World, and we're gonna hit enter. So that's created our project. You can see here in my tutorials folder, we have a folder called Hello World, and here is all of our Laravel files. So here's all of our files that Laravel needs and the file that we upload to our public directory on our web server would be this public folder. Everything else isn't publicly accessible. So you can see here I went to tutorial.local. That's the page that serves our public folder. So that's the page we should be able to access our project from. But you can see I got a HTTP 500 error. And the reason we got that is because we need to install some dependencies for Laravel. So we want to go inside of our project folder. And we want to run this command. Composer update no scripts. If we run that, it's going to download all of the dependencies that Laravel needs. So now if I refresh, you can see we actually have a web page now, but it says something looks like it went wrong. So the reason for that error is because Laravel has a special key in its configuration, and that key is used for security of sessions and things like that. And by default, the key doesn't exist because we have to create it. So because we haven't created it, Laravel is giving us this error. If we go into our project and we go to the storage folder and we go to the logs folder, you can see we have a file called laravel.log and this tells us everything we need to know about the error. So you can see it says no encryption key has been specified. So your Laravel project comes with a file called artisan and it makes life really easy for doing all sorts of things like creating controllers and models. But what it also does is it lets us generate this encryption key for us. So if I type in php artisan, you can see all of the things it lets us do. But what we want to do is generate a new encryption key. So you can see here under this keyword, you can see we have key generate. So all we have to do is type in php artisan key generate. And the first time we do this, we're going to get an error because we have no .env file because that file doesn't exist. But if I was to say cat.env.example, you can see here is our Laravel configuration file. And up here, app underscore key is blank. That's what we want to set. So what we want to do is just say move dot env.example to .env. That will rename the file from env.example to env. And now if we run our generate command again, you can see Laravel generated us a key. So here's what our project looks like. Here's our env file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the database credentials so that we can actually log into our database. So the host for me is going to be localhost and the database is going to be Laravel. The username is root and the password is root. So now if I go back to our project and I refresh, now you can see we get the default Laravel page because everything's been installed and set up correctly. So hopefully this shows you how to set up Laravel. In the next videos, we're going to be learning how to create some really simple Laravel projects. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.